Hello community! Stable Diffusion version 2.1 is out, December 8, and the file is available on Hugging Face. So what we do on our free Colab notebook, we install our diffuser, our transformers, Accelerate and SciPy, we import Torch, of course, and then we have as our model ID, you're not gonna believe it, Stable Diffusion 2.1. Beautiful. We have a new solver, but otherwise it is absolutely the same. We download all the different models. We have here our 3.5 gigabyte model. And then it is easy. I say, okay, a garden full of flowers with a wild creek. And I have number of inference step is 120, guidance is 7.5, and the height and the width is 768 times 768 pixels. And you see, this is the result that we achieve. Not bad at all. Now I notice 768 times 768 is really for my GPU RAM the maximum without attention slicing. If I want to go higher, for example here, I go now 768 times 1200, pipe enable attention slicing does the trick for you. Beautiful. So you see here an image, 120 inference steps, it's four minutes for this picture. It's a very nice picture, four minutes, yes. The water is nice and a little bit stormy, yes, it's okay. Now, if we reduce now the steps from 120 to 20, how, how much quality do we lose? And if you look at this, yeah, the water is not as clear and pristine and precise. So yeah, there is some quality loss if you look at this here. So what I did here, now I changed my a little bit prompt engineering this was my prompt, a garden full of flowers with a wild creek. And if you want to see version two, I have here stability, the stable diffusion 2.0. And this is the picture I got with 2.0. Well, you might say. And now with 2.1, this is the picture with 2.1. Now, if you do a little bit of optimization, I say photorealistic, high details, fine details, nature photography, landscape photography, and I just take 20 steps, so really minimum amount of steps, just for 40 seconds, you see I get this picture. Well, there are some details missing and it's not really photorealistic. I think this is here rather painted so, well, yeah, okay, this is the picture I get. You have to judge yourself. And if I then go back, 768, 768, and I increase again the number of inference step, this is the picture I get out. Well, looks nice, but again, photorealistic, I don't know. Especially look here at the tree and at the forest here in the background and here the grass. I think this is more a painting instead of photorealistic. So, but maybe my prompt in engineering is simply bad. So again, number of inference step, just 20, what I get with only 20, 40 seconds. Yeah, it's not bad, it's not bad, but I, I don't know if it's worth the upgrade here, especially if you go for nature. What else? Yes, 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 another example. I think this is one of the nicest example I did experience here, trying out 2.1 within the first hour. Yeah, it's nice. And then I said a vision of a green urban space. So a green urban space, yeah, I don't know. Maybe I expected a little bit more. If you look here at the details, yeah, the lines are straight. Yeah, this is a very positive development but the overall composition, maybe I have to do more prompt engineering or I have to experience a little bit more with the hyperparameter. But just to show you, Stable Diffusion 2.1 is out. You see with your GPU RAM, free Colab notebook, no problem at all. It works and I hope you enjoy it, you experience yourself and I see you in my next one.